he is able to adapt to every project, every movie that we do. And this is a, probably the most, um, uh, the most, what do I say? This is probably the most, this is probably the most unusual film that we've made um, uh, for various reasons, you know. Primarily, I would say that the amount of actors that had tremendous significance every time they spoke. I came here for, for the values that the country represents, and we're beginning to, to lose those values. And I think this movie brings that importance of, of honesty and free press to the light, and hopefully um, people will will appreciate this movie for what it is. As far as my approach in terms of how will I photograph a movie that's essentially often feels like a play, um, the decision was very, very clear. Don't do anything tricky. Don't go too gimmicky and be honest to the material and reflect the attractiveness of the people and the importance of the story. For me, and I must admit, my aim was to actually not create, through my photography, not go towards the 70s, because I felt the story feels so relevant that if you splatter all that 1970 uh, uh, time frame on the picture, I was afraid, not afraid, I was concerned that movie may not be relevant. And to me, the movie was actually very relevant in terms of what's happening right now. So my aim was to make this movie as little time biased as possible. Because the scene takes place, half of the scene takes place at night, half of it takes place during the day. For that, I actually did look at some um, Vietnam documentary footage, and it was just spectacular. But yet I felt I didn't want to recreate that. I didn't want to go into the deep greens and, and, and saturated blues. And it's not the technical look. It's that specific look of, of, of the 70s, 16 millimeter documentary footage, which looks very authentic. It was authentic. But I didn't want to go that direction. I want to create my, my own representation of Vietnam. Stephen and I, we've worked with each other for the last 22 years. I think we've made. 15 and 16 or maybe 16 movies, you know, um, I'm not sure anymore. But, you know, it's never, it's never a routine. It's always different story. It's always different actors. It's always different form of storytelling. Of course, there are similarities occasionally the way, you know, the way we, we do coverage and the way we do things with the camera, all that stuff, because you know, I think there needs to be similarity because it's the same guy making it. I don't believe in the concept that, you know, a filmmaker should adapt and always uh, do movie in a way that doesn't resemble the previous one, but movies are a very personal thing.